Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't charge me. Corner. I'm Cognac Willoline, and we are here at Esther Nash's Townhouse Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York, on 46th and 4th Avenue, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, introduce yourself. You're one of the artists here that's exhibiting. Yeah, I'm Jill, Jillian Cleary, and I'm a student at the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan. Now, tell my audience what we're looking at right behind us. This is amazing. A lot of the stuff that I have now is kind of a timeline of what I'm doing. Two pieces are from a couple years ago when I first started figuring out my thesis, and then you can see as I grow into using more shapes and colors in my work. Well, the artwork is beautiful. Very, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, this is very uh, unusual to look at. What are we looking at right here? Right here is a project on doing some kind of fantasy fairy tale, and I took an image from Fantasia, the new one. And what I did was I used oil colors to mix and try to create an in-depth of whales coming out of the sky. And it was just an image from the movie, and I just tried to bring it to life in my own color and shape. And this that we're looking at, what is this all about? This is about a self-portrait. It kind of is just a mash of stuff that I really like, colors, you know, sections, collaging things. Uh, figures and shapes and faces from my life. It looks very, very spiritual. Well, thank you. I, I, I put a lot, a lot of the images in my work are for myself, but audiences take it in a different way, and it's just supposed to bring feeling of yourself. Do you have a website? Yeah, it's jillcleary.tumblr.com, and I'll, I update daily on drawings and paintings that and I'm working on. you have Facebook, on. too? Yes, you can find T me at Jill Cleary. How do you spell that? J-I-L-L, -L, and then Cleary, C-L-E-A-R-Y. Fabulous. Tell my audience, how long is your work going to be exhibited here at the gallery? I'm exhibiting for two weeks, and then I'm going away back to where I'm from, Ohio, but I'll be back for the next group of artists for a weekend. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Thank darling. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more mm -hmm. art coming up at Esther Nash's Townhouse mm -hmm. Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. Keep watching. Mm -hmm. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. 
Yes, welcome back. We're here at the Townhouse Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm here with one of the artists that's exhibiting her work, this beautiful artwork that we're looking at right behind us. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, my name is Lee Melby, and I go to the school, um, the Cooper Union School of the of um, the Cooper Union School for the Advancement of Science and Art. Tell my audience a little bit about the art that we're looking at right behind us. Right behind us, this painting is called Sakibare II, and it's based on the idea of demons that come in your, um, to you when you're sleeping and kind of sit on you. And there's other paintings in history about the succubus and the incubus. Mm -hmm. And um, these demons will come to you in your dreams and affect you in a certain way only when you're sleeping. So I took that idea and I wanted to manifest it in a more metaphorical sense using the figure. You sound like you're fascinated by that subject, huh? Yeah, I'm very fascinated with mythology and everything mystical, everything otherworldly. But I'm also, um, I also feel that it's a reflection of reality, so I don't like lose myself in the fantasy or anything. Mm -hmm. um, reality is just as fascinating, but the idea that these things come from reality mm -hmm. is what fascinates me. Tell my audience, where, how long is your work going to be exhibited here? two weeks, but I hope to exhibit more in the future. Okay. Uh, is there a website or a Facebook that we can go to to find out more information about your artwork? I have some more artwork online, and it's um, carbon made, uh, artbymilby.carbonmade.com. Spell that for my audience. A-R-T-B-Y-M-I-L-B-Y dot carbonmade.com. C-A-R-B-O-N-M-A-D-E yes. dot com? Yes. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you very much for taking the thank time you. to talk to us here at Esther Nash's Townhouse Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. You're going to give me a kiss goodbye, darling? We'll be back in a moment with more interviews and more art coming up. Pink champagne. Oh, I said cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I said cognac. Oh, oh, oh. Blind, fallacy dressed to impress one of a kind girl. It's been a crybaby productions, darlings.